Here's the good news the Cardinals are 4-4 and in the mix in the NFC. There's little chance they'll make much noise in the division. The first place Rams 6-2 have been one of the most surprising stories of the season. The Seahawks 5-3, who annually find themselves in this position at the halfway point of the season, have made the postseason in each of the last five years, which coincides with Russell Wilson's arrival in Seattle. And here's the bad news despite Arizona's record, it's one of the league's worst teams, at least on a per play basis. According to Football Outsiders metrics, the Cardinals are 27th in team efficiency, ahead of only the Giants, 49ers, Colts, Dolphins, and Browns. Making matters worse Arizona's quarterback situation went from bad to worse when 37-year-old Carson Palmer broke his non-throwing arm in late October and was placed on injured reserve. He was replaced by Drew Stanton, whose primary weapons are Larry Fitzgerald. Adrian Peterson and jokes. No seriously, Stanton, who was just 15 of 30 for 201 yards 2 TDs, one INT in last Sunday's win over the 49ers, uses humor to ease the tension. Some people can misconstrue that laid-back sense of humor as a smartass, Stanton said this week, via ESPN. Com. I've definitely gotten that a lot throughout the course of my career. I feel like I've even matured a little bit over the years, so it was probably even worse initially. I feel like that's one thing I've always tried to do throughout my entire career. We make it hard enough on ourselves. We take everything so serious, and it should be serious. It's very important, but at the same time, we need to go out and have fun and you only do that by being able to relax and play at your potential. Sometimes, I just go out there and do what I need to do and try to be infectious with that in some way, shape or form. Kidding aside, Coach Bruce Arians has complete faith in Stanton. When Drew steps in the huddle, there is total confidence in the other ten guys, Arians said. They know he knows this offense inside and out, and when he gets a hot hand, he can really light it up. Unfortunately, there probably won't be many opportunities to light up the Seahawks' defense. In part because the unit is 6th against the pass, but primarily because the Seahawks are also 19th against the run. And while Arizona has struggled offensively, it's 27th overall and 31st when running the ball, expect a lot of Adrian Peterson, who has rediscovered himself since arriving in the Valley of the Sun in mid-October. Two weeks after rushing four times for four yards in his final game with the Saints, Peterson went wild in his Cardinals debut. He finished with 26 carries for 134 yards and two scores. He had just 21 yards the next week, a 33-0 drubbing at the hands of the resurgent Rams, but he ran all over the 49ers last Sunday carrying the ball 37 times for 159 yards. If the Cardinals are going to have a chance against the Seahawks, Arizona is 0-3-1 at home against Seattle in the Bruce Arians era, Peterson will need a big night. And while all day has been a fantastic story these last few weeks, it won't be enough to overcome the loss of key players, including one of the game's best players running back David Johnson, who was injured in Week 1.